can't breathe. In the game Dark Souls, Goodness. there is an enemy called oh. Armored Boar. Oh, a big old boar. Is this Armored Core 6? Well, actually, he's called Fang Boar. So is Armored Core 6 an Armored Boar? Or is it more like doing chores? Well, I'll say this. It's no mm -hmm. Pikmin 4. Before they were making games like Elden Ring, From Software was pumping out goo. Ooh, a big ass like bear. Eternal Ring. You see, back in those olden times, there was a genre of. Oh, Armored Core. Yeah, I actually heard about this. This is like getting majorly popular. I can't believe it was the first time I heard about it, though. It number 6. But it really got popular because it is the creators of the. Uh. Well, not Elden Ring. What is it? Dark Souls? I think Dark Souls games called mech games and there was a million of them zone of the enders mech assault frame ground so this is all them Custom oh yeah virtual it says all from software no? bangay oh mobile suit gundam so many gundam games chrome hounds lost planet steel battalion that you play with this controller three of those games were by from software back then from software was putting out five to six games a year they were spammers and while they did like to experiment most of that output was armor core they made a lot of these until mm. dark souls today from software is one of the best game studios out there bloodborne dark souls 3 Sekiro was my game of the year in 2019 and elden ring was my game of the year last year yeah, i forgot about Armored that core 6 Sekiro. is nowhere near that level of quality this is more like a guilty pleasure game in this game you are a badass giant robot shooting the ever-living shit out of everything that you see at 300 miles per hour to win slam every button on the controller while screaming at the top of your lungs <laughs> like a caveman there is no thinking no strategy just blow shit up and go he -ho. okay in a game like elden ring oh, that sounds like uh, that sounds like a bunch of PS2 games that I can't remember the name of. Enemy commands like, a certain level of respect. Even classic. <laughs> can kill you if you're not careful. In Armored Core, you will blast through 700 stupid fucking robots like nothing because they are made out of McDonald's toys. And then they send out some rinky dink Damn. dumbass mini boss and I annihilate him within four seconds because I do not give a shit about this man. Oh, it look like Gendem. stupid. It's because this game is stupid. This is mindless monkey mush that is like one cognitive step beyond Dynasty Warriors and Diablo. If I'm making this game sound easy, yeah, it's, it's Dynasty easy, and Diablo. This one boss who's impossible. All of that being said, I kind of like it. The movement in this game is so far beyond anything I've seen in a FromSoft game. It looks Matt, pretty clean. Well, just like comparing it to something that I've played recently, like a Gendem, it seems a lot more. Uh cleany gliding around the screen like a figure skater with enough weapons to engage enemies at any range the gundam kind of clunk seconds of gameplay you'll dodge three rockets slide into a dude's face blast him with a shotgun then lock onto a group of helicopters in the distance with your missiles and then there's the customization angle the player has so much freedom in choosing how they approach the game Ooh. you can turn your mech into a massive tank with oh, rocket wow. launchers and cannons on its back or you can be a nimble little guy with a machine gun and a laser sword it's a lot of fun to cook up some oh, that's cool. build and see how it actually the customization the and if it sucks it's not a big deal it's a very simple system that wants you to experiment i will say that the weapon balance in this game is about as good as the weapon balance in elden ring hmm. So oh, not good. oh my goodness. What a negative damage. Your dream machine, it's hard to walk away from that power. About halfway into my playthrough, I came up with this wheelchair Ooh, robot with a gat. gatling guns. This thing is unstoppable and it completely trivialized the game. <laughs> it looks but like listen, it. It was really funny. It was like a giganto version hmm? of that wheelchair hmm, rising dead. dead rising 2. Or die, that dead rising boss I was talking about. Where does health bar go? What's crazy is that you can probably build an even more powerful mech than this one. I really am curious to see what other people are going to come up with. For me, the fatal flaw right. of Armored Core is that once you settle into the groove that of the like a sandbox. Game, you just start playing on autopilot. Going back to Elden Ring, that game is massive, and yet there is so much variety across its duration because every enemy has to be given some respect. You have to observe their moves and dodge their attacks, so it's like every enemy is slightly altering the rules of the game. Armored Core allows players to get fancier than they ever could in Elden Ring, but because you can apply the same strategies to nearly every boss and enemy in the game, it feels kind of one note. 
for players that really want to challenge themselves mm. and sink their teeth into this game, you can go for the S rank on every mission. Although I have been spoiled by Pikmin's ranking system that actually tells you what to do. This game's ranking system is like trying to pass. I still need to play Pikmin. The water park that shit looks nice. Paying attention. Armored Core 6 is a throwback to the spammy bullshit PS2 era from some. Yep. And while Rather. I enjoy it, it is not a game that holds up under <laughs> any sort of scrutiny. I played so many games like this. I think one was even like Ghost in the Shell. Another one I think was called Metal Arms. It was so hard to remember the names of them. There's just, just too many. Spammy bullshit PS2 era from software. And while I did enjoy it, it is not a game that holds up under any sort of scrutiny or analysis. I am happy to see FromSoft branching out though, and who knows, maybe someday we will get a Sekiro level mech game or a sequel to the adventures of Cookie and Cream. Cookie and Cream. That sounds kind of yummy. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. I don't know, it doesn't seem like my kind of game actually. Seems like it'd be kind of fun with the customizations, but that's kind of about it.